What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight T stand up. March is here. My daughter has appeared. We have some so fresh or clean, clean, slight educational list. You know what I'm saying? No quiz or whatsoever of all. You know what I'm saying? A chill type of a, you know what I'm saying? Class day. But some nice facts. Now, I never thought you can go more than like two or four days without eating something if you're not sick type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how people... Apparently, this person did 20 days only drinking water. I only drink water for 20 days to see what happened to my body. Check it out. Hey, school year's almost up. Don't get your electronics taken away as usual, man. Administrators walk in. Duck, hide. Your iPhones, your iPads, your Androids, your Nanos, your Wagers, your Pagers. Lime wires, because I'm not responsible, it gets taken away. Don't go outside. I drank only water for 20 days. See what happened in my body. See. When I first heard about water fasting, I thought, no way am I doing this. But after doing some research and finding out about the benefits of this process, I changed my mind. And now I'm going to tell you what I experienced during my 20 day water fast. Before you follow my unusual experiment, don't forget to click the subscription button and turn notifications on to join us on the bright side of life. Hey. First of all, I decided to find out the benefits of water fasting. And here's what I discovered. When your body can't get access to carbohydrates, its favorite source of energy, it starts to use stored fats. Mm. As a result, you can lose about one pound of fat every day. This makes water fasting one of the most effective short-term weight loss methods. This process also decreases inflammation in your body. Consequently, the recovery, repair, and healing of your body becomes faster and more efficient. Your blood sugar doesn't fluctuate so much. Water fasting decreases blood pressure and lowers your stress levels. It slows down the aging process. It lowers the risk of developing heart diseases. Water fasting can also help if you have digestive problems like irritable bowel, diarrhea, gas, gastritis, constipation, or loss of appetite. This sounded pretty good to me, but I still wanted to be sure that I wouldn't harm my body by quitting food altogether. People who are advised not to fast include people who have eating disorders, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, people who are underweight, people with serious that heart underweight problems, class. people with type 1 diabetes, people who have uncontrolled migraines. Since I wasn't in any of these groups, I decided to give water fasting a go. Now, I had to determine the duration of my fast. Most sources recommend fasting for somewhere between five days and two weeks. But I also discovered stories of people who had managed to survive on water for up to 45 days. 45 I'm days? I'm not ready for that. No Despite way, bro. That's cat, thoughts, bro. Only, decision you, only eating water, bro, for 45 days. Day not even let alone 20. I don't even believe this. here's how it went. Day one and two. The first two days were going to be the most difficult. I felt incredibly hungry, almost as if I had missed several breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. My energy level dropped and my mood left much to be desired. I was increasingly irritated and my patience was wearing thin. What was happening to my body at this stage? It went into battery save mode, which means that my metabolic rate became more efficient. In addition, my body was using less energy. It helped to know that I'd feel better soon. At the same time, I can't say that these first days didn't have their advantages. First of all, I was exercising my willpower, and doing this successfully made me feel very proud of myself. Also, I knew that there was a process of cleansing going on somewhere in my body. These first days were also beneficial for my heart. Days three through seven. On the third day, the second stage of my water fasting began. By that time, the much-awaited process of ketosis had started. That's when your body gets what? down to burning the fat it has stored, as it has no other sources of energy. Surprisingly, I stopped feeling hungry almost all of a sudden. Simultaneously, I started to feel a bit more energetic and less tired. On the other hand, I had some pretty bad headaches and couldn't sleep normally. Why would also, you cause that to yourself? I my experiment though? and stood up too quickly, I felt lightheaded. The thing is that when you follow a typical diet that contains foods rich in carbohydrates, 
your body gets glucose from starches and sugars. Glucose is the main source of energy for your body. When it doesn't get any more glucose, your body needs to use your stored fat instead. It breaks this fat into glycerol and fatty acids. As a result of the second stage, I started to lose weight. This also had some kind of detoxifying effect on me. Not everybody knows that the human body uses its own fat to store different toxins or toxic metals. If it didn't do this, these substances could seriously harm the body. And since this fat is used as an energy source during the process of ketosis, toxins get expelled from the body. Days 8 through 14. After the first week of feeding myself nothing but water, I experienced a kind of fasting high. I felt great, happy, and impressively energetic. But what pleased me the most was a particular clarity of mind. However, when I measured my blood pressure, it was lower than my norm, and that was probably the reason why I felt cold most of the time. I felt positive changes in the functioning of my digestive system, since it wasn't receiving any of the toxins that used to get inside my body with my food intake. Sure, fasting at this stage was kind of stressful, but it was a good stress, one that was making my immune system stronger and more resilient. They also say that when the effects of fasting add up at this stage, they encourage the healing processes in your body to speed up. But I didn't have an opportunity to figure out if that was true. Wow. Days 15 to 20. Bro, I just smell cat. There's no way you went this long without having no cereal, bread, or anything. Just eating water? When I got to the 15th day of my water fasting, I was incredibly proud of myself. I knew that very few people reached this stage. I also knew that this was a period when I had to be immensely attentive to my condition and Why visit a doctor do if I felt that something had gone wrong. Luckily, I felt no different. In fact, I felt light and active. By the way, many sites and blogs recommend you limited active? physical no activity for the period of fasting. Some of them went as far as to suggest taking some time off work. I couldn't afford this, and so I went on with my normal life. I commuted by train every day. I worked 10 hours a day. What? Yo, you just trying to just like my gym routine. What? Naturally, I tried to reduce the pressure on my heart by doing cardio that wasn't too intense. That but looks like it's putting time, more stress in your body. Weight, I didn't notice that I'd become weaker. In any case, on the 21st day of my fasting, I was ready to break it. A person who has spent almost three weeks without solid food can't just begin to eat anything and everything they see. That's why I started by drinking fruit juices and broths and eating cooked veggies. They helped me to acclimate my digestive system to the process of consuming food once again. Believe it or not, I felt at my best after my water fast. I lost some weight, though not as much as I'd expected. My vitals were impressive in a good way, and some health abnormalities were no longer a cause for concern. Word. Only you can decide if you are wow. ready for a fast or not, and only you can choose the optimal duration of such a fast. The only thing I would recommend is consulting your doctor before making this decision. Have you ever tried fasting? Seriously. Bro, 20 days with just eating water, bro. Don't even do that to yourself. You're just going to pass out somewhere, bro. And, you know, you got to hope somebody's around to help you out. But that's what happens to your body if you only eat water for 20 days. As you may tell me, I'm going to ask Rats and Nets, man. I'm going to roll to 4-Minute Mate.